Bonjour everyone, I am Yann, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Simple Park. And yes, now that we've finished this little piece of land with the coaster and Becky's balloons, I thought that we should look at other things in the park. And so I placed this, um, this uh, lock flume, basically, this lock flume station, but I realized that pieces were too large. I think they're not even... Uh, they're not four meters because otherwise the, this would have been as easy and obviously because the logs are so big they have to have room to navigate but the point is they are so big that I had to um, and bigon if that's even a word I know that Miss Marvel says the, the this in, in the series and in the comic books but I had to and bigon the the whole vision of the park and that's why now I have this uh, mini park border from the contest back in August 2022, which I was bummed because I, n I couldn't participate because my mind was too occupied with Marvelous Realms, and if I'd known that I would abandon Marvelous Realms, I would have made my mini park because I had a ton of ideas, of good ideas even, in, in my mind at least, uh, for, uh, for a mini park. And so yeah, in the end I'm making a mini park, but not in the contest rules, because obviously this will not be competing, because the contest has been over for, what, like, three months now, almost? Something like this? Yeah, I think it will be three months on the 13th of November. Anyway, point is, I'm making a mini park, but a bigger mini park than I had envisioned. Like, uh, like I told you in episode one, basically. In episode one, I already told you that this wasn't going to be the final layout and now we are looking at more of a not a final layout but a, a closer layout to what will be in the end and I'm also trying to make a mine train now that I have my lock flume set up because I wanted the mine train to interact with the lock flume I thought this would have been a good idea and this episode is called Cautionary Hot Dogs. Why? Because, well, if you're not focused on hot dogs, you're making bad things. <laughs> bad things are happening in your park. This, um, this mine train is one of the examples. Because I wanted to have as much interaction with the log flume as possible, and I wasn't really focused on the layout. and. What I wanted to do with this mine train, I just wanted to have a mine train because yeah, mine trains are cool, and especially with uh, with the, the 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 theme of the Rocky Mountains, you know, this was kind of perfect for a Rocky Mountains feel because there are a lot of mines and everything. Or is that a cliche? I think it's a cliche. I don't know. You guys, I will have to you Amer American guys at least will have to let me know in the comments because I'm not really familiar with the Rocky Mountains and what happens in the, in the Rocky Mountains is kind of a an idea of the Rocky Mountains in my mind and that's why what I'm building in the end so yeah cautionary hot dogs because in the end that's the only thing that we'll make in this episode this hot dog shop <laughs> but technically we also have the lock flume so we have a newer attraction as well but still, I got rid of something like one hour to two hours of work fiddling around with the layout of the mine train because it was just not working. So I decided to postpone it and try to make it later because I really, I, I don't want to, you know, do the scenery around the lock flume or at least around this, uh, this uh, higher area of the lock flume before the drop uh, without the mine train set up. So this is something that we'll have to do in the future, but that we have to postpone for now. And so instead I wanted to do what I do best, which is doing custom shops again. I love doing custom shops, and I think they're really underrated, because not everyone will realize that those things are custom. If you go in there, you're, you'll probably see it for like, what, two or three seconds for in a spotlight or during your visit. and. That's why I like to take 
the most minute details and and make them believable you know even the this little box inside the inside the shop was something that helped me in the end making it believable and I wanted to quickly change the size of the queue for the locked room because there are gonna be a lot of people in there and I wanted to have this central building inside the queue with the queue that was inside anyway now we're making and naming it Harry's Hot Dogs. If you don't know, Tall Guy Gaming, which is a good... F which? No, you're a person. Who? <laughs> Sorry. That has always been my biggest problem during English classes. I... Uh, because for those who don't know, but I think you do, I'm French. I think I just all the time remind you guys that. Anyway, and during the classes, I... <laughs> always struggled between which and who uh, which is absolutely stupid but yeah you're a person so who uh, so what was I saying yeah tall guy gaming who is a good friend of mine his name is Harry and so Harry's hot, hot dogs because they both start with an H and another sadder um, shout out is to Kcast Kxt I don't know I, I always say Kcast, but I, I, I think people say KXT, but don't be bothered by how I, however I say it. Uh, at the time I recorded the speed build, which was uh, September 7th, I guess, 7th, sorry. Um, we had just learned about uh, his passing, and he was the one of the founders of the Planet Coaster Tycoons, I think it's called, group on the, on the PS PlayStation Network, sorry. And so that really impacted me to have someone who has always... Well, I never really talked to him, but every time I had an interaction with him, he was always really nice and really supportive of what I did. So I was destroyed to learn that someone who we shared as a community, whom, whom we shared a, a, a bond through Planet Coaster, um, had passed, you know, it, it's it's tragic to have someone who who's passing like that, so I wanted to honor him in my park, and from now on, in every single one of my parks, there will be an Easter egg or a memorial for Cake Guest or Cake Steve. I'm sorry again, but I, I I'm pretty sure it's Cake Cake Guest. Oh my God, I, I don't know. <laughs> Point is, may you rest in peace. And yeah, man, I don't want it to be a sad episode, so we'll go back to uh, Harry's hot dogs. Um, I made this little uh, thing on the side with. Uh, I don't think there are animatronics yet, but there they will be the first guests inside the park because the guests that we've done as animatronics are outside the parks and I wanted to of course put Harry Tall Guy Gaming and his wife CJ whom I also I am also really good friends with um, because well of course this is Harry's hot dogs so they would hang out next to Harry's hot dogs and I also put myself because I thought that it was important that I was there as well. And so I'm the only animatronic with a tie, you'll see. But yeah, I'm doing again the 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 ambience and everything because it's it again, ambience is the most important part of your park. And there we go. The the animatronics uh, I copied the colors for um, for his wife, I think. I'm not sure. I think she has a yellow uh, top. But anyway, uh, so yeah, welcome to the park, uh, Harry and CJ. Uh, it, it's really good to have you guys, and I think shouting you out uh, after the things we've been through together it was a, a no-brainer, really. And now you see me fiddling with the... Uh, what are what the, I can speak I can't speak I'm sorry <laughs> with the water refiller to try to make something new but in the end I just like the water refiller as it is and I wanted to make it more wooden you know 
So, yeah, it, it, it just didn't work. And in the end, that's the moral of this episode is that sometimes you will try to make things in Planet Coaster and they will not work out and you will lose a lot of time, a lot of precious time that you've invested in those things. And that's okay, that's absolutely okay. Because in the end, it will serve the bigger project to try things and say, okay, this does not work. What will I do in the end? Or just postpone it and, and just make something else. That's totally all right. And I didn't even call out the, the transition between the speed build and the, the cinematic uh, views or the showcase, I guess. But yeah, we have Harry's hot dogs, of course, because I don't know, it rhymes, you know, the alliteration or assonance I talked about earlier uh, in the series is something that will be recurrent uh, throughout the park. And yeah, as I was saying to you, I hovered around the, <laughs> the water refiller because, well, I'm gonna keep it as is because it's a good design and uh, I love it. I really love it. It's, it's gonna be a design that will stick uh, throughout my realistic parks, I guess. But of course, here is hot dogs. Here we go. <laughs> this is the only food place in the work uh, the workshop in the park yet. So yeah, it, it, it's gonna be busy for a few episodes, and so will be the water refiller. But yeah, everything is not kitted out because, of course, this just modifies uh, slightly the what is already in there, you know. So, yeah, I'm pretty proud of how it turned out, to be honest. And we also have a backstage area with the, the trash cans and the, the, the big bin, 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 anyway, and um, a place for the, uh, for, for recycling, you know, the the cardboard boxes, I can't speak, I'm sorry. And of course in the little sitting area beside, the, which is not accessible for guests actually, we have Ari and CJ and myself watching as the lock flume splashes down nearby. But yeah, as you realize, when the lock flume splashes, the queue is getting wet as of now. Don't worry, it'll all make sense next episode, so maybe subscribe. Subscribe? No, subscribe to see that happen in the next episode because we'll be working on the queue uh, of the Lock Flume, which is probably the best queue I have ever done. Even though it's pretty simple, but again, this is Simple Park, so every single thing is supposed to be simple. And here is Yan BK1608, of course. Um, as I told you, I am the only um, animatronic with a tie because, of course, I'm the owner of the park, so I must be well dressed, I guess, even though I have a green shirt, a weird green shirt. And I've done a little bit of rock work, as you guys know, I love doing rock works. I'm turning into a frog, it's okay. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm French, so that's why. <laughs> uh, I love doing rock work because, you know, rock work and nature foliage work, sorry, is the way I can make my park look better. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm just in love with nature and rocks. And, and you might think I'm a hippie by saying that. And of course, too. And all things, um, cake, yes, cakes, tea, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, but yeah, rest in peace, man. You will always be in this creation and you will always be in one of my parks as of now. And I maybe, maybe even do, may even do, I'm so bad at speaking English, but I may even do. Uh, an update to Parcial Bleu to add KKS in there. So, yeah, um, what can I say? Our park is not looking very big, and that's okay. 
but this will be uh, somewhat of the final layout of the park. The whole left section will probably not exist anymore. Um, you can still see the, the place I, I dug out for the mine train. This will totally be something else in the end and if I start saying my plans while making an overview of the park um, yeah you guys are gonna get bored but the point is please subscribe because there are a lot more things coming in this park and we'll have a big simple mini park in the end and I think it's exciting to imagine the future especially because I know the future <laughs> hey 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 what was that laugh anyway <laughs> Uh, the Frenchman is going wild again. Thanks for watching this fifth or fourth? Yeah, fourth episode of Building a Simple Park. If you liked it, well, please leave a like or a comment on the video and please consider, consider subscribing. This has been Yann, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and I'll see you in the next one. A bientôt!